It is a great day here at Harvest Chapel in Abbottstown, Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Jody Tyler with Kingdom Landscaping, and I'm here with Paul Goldberg from Boy Scout Troop 105, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this Eagle Scout project. Paul, why did you choose this for your Eagle Scout project? Well, I chose this um, for my Eagle Scout project because I wanted somewhere where the youth could just hang out and have fun on a Sunday night when they have a youth group somewhere that's built up so they could sit. That sounds good. In order to get this project started, I had to fill out a proposal and propose it to the Boy Scout board. And then I had to get the sponsors for this project, which Kingdom Landscaping sponsored me. And Hanover Architectural Products sponsored me. Dean Mummer Contractors sponsored me. Yeah, Asphalt Works sponsored me, um, basically to provide this project. Okay, so if we start with um, Dean Mummer, so what did um, his company do for you? Dean, Dean did the excavation for this project, so he excavated basically where this project is, dug out the hole, that kind of stuff. Okay, and then um, Dave Hicks from Asphalt Works, what did Dave do for you? He delivered the stone and the sand for this project. Okay, that's a pretty important part, and uh, Hanover Architecture. Hanover Architecture donated all the stone, pavers, and the fire pit for this project. And that's a huge pork because we couldn't even do this without them, without all the project, and then uh, without all the product. And then, of course, um, Kingdom Landscaping. Uh, we were very happy to get involved and to assist Paul with the design of the project, kind of tweaked it a little bit. Um, Paul had an original concept that he definitely wanted a fire pit and a patio area so that the youth group could gather and have time together and fellowship. Uh, we got involved kind of uh, as far as the design to make it aesthetically pleasing and just put some uh, finishing touches on it. typical day look like here as far as um, the workforce? So a typical day started at 7 and we broke for lunch at 12 and then we ended at 3. Okay and I understand at lunchtime um, Paul was also responsible for getting donations and sponsors to serve the lunch, prepare the lunch, but provide uh, the food for the lunch. Who were some of those sponsors? So some of the sponsors were Rita's, Weiss Markets, Sam's Club, and Schultz's Deli. you needed some extra manpower in order to build this project. So who was involved in helping complete the project? The labor force. So there was the Boy Scouts, obviously, which was for my troop. So there was 15 of them. There was people from the youth group. There was five kids that came out. There was some adult leaders and some other adults. Awesome. <laughs> Is the, was the most exciting part of this project? 
getting it finished because it was a big project and it was a lot of stress. So what was the most valuable takeaway that you learned from this project? Probably learning how to be a leader. Yeah. In one word, what describes how you feel about this project now that it is finished? Accomplished. The team here at Kingdom Landscaping was really excited uh, when Paul asked us to be a part of this project. As a matter of fact, we wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Uh, we really enjoy working with young people and especially being able to, the, to expose them to working with their hands and the construction industry, what's involved. And the reason that we have such a passion for what we do is because there's such gratification of seeing the finished product. Thank <laughs> you.